Welcome to Pokemon Why or Why Not, the show where we tackle Pokemon questions and theories. This week's question, why can electric attacks affect ground-type Pokemon in anime battles? Or, why can protect fail in anime battles? Or, why can you aim for the horn in anime battles? Basically, how do Pokemon battles differ in the anime and the games? I've seen questions like these in literally every Pokemon anime video ever. It's painfully obvious that the game battle mechanics and anime battle mechanics differ, but no one really stops to explain that. Everyone uses the game as their reference point, since the rules are so explicit. Well, to be contrary, I decided to take the stance of the anime and list rules that are true to the anime battles. You see, the show and the games are two different types of mediums. What's interesting in one may not work as well in the other. Turn-based battling, for example, is perfect for the games to keep battles fair, but to make the show dull. The anime style allows for battles to be more dynamic and engaging, while the games focus on strategy. Side note, shout out to Pokemon Origins, who uses mechanics mostly from the games, which is really tough to make it smart and interesting. So here's my list of 20 rules that the Pokemon anime battles follow that the games don't. These rules aren't hard and fast since the anime canon has never been consistent, but I think they cover the basics well. Battles are always waged with the same number of Pokemon. One-on-one, two-on-two, three-on-three, you get it. As I said before, battles are not turn-based. You can attack multiple times in a row. Dodging is a maneuver. If your Pokémon is fast enough, it can dodge and attack at the same time. Offensive moves can be used defensively, like Ash's Counter Shield method. Defensive moves can be used offensively, such as Mareep's Tail Whip. Pokémon can interact with the battlefield. Hiding, freezing, melting, all entirely fair. That's why field conditions are randomly selected in tournaments. If you're permitted to make substitutions, you can recall Pokémon back to cure its confusion. Pokemon regain stamina when they're in their Pokeballs. That's why when they come out again, they're energized and ready to battle. Pokemon can use their individual anatomy in battles, be it tails, spikes, claws, you get the idea. Resistance are negligible if an attack is powerful enough. In other words, Protect can fail and ground types can be shocked. This also stacks with anatomy, hence you get the horn scenario. Range matters. Some special attacks hit harder the closer they are. A double knockout can occur from two regular attacks. They don't need to include Parish Song or self-inflicting damage. Fainting is not literal. The Pokémon can no longer battle, but still remains conscious. They just get the little swirlies in their eyes. A Pokémon is defeated if it refuses to battle or is unable to. This includes if they have fallen asleep, are stunned, or if they're a young Charizard. A trainer can forfeit a match. There is running from a trainer battle. Pokémon are not limited to four moves. Some of a Pokémon's moves can be circumstantial, like Psyduck's Confusion. TMs don't exist. If you want your Pokémon to learn a new move, you need to teach it to them, like Snowrunt's Ice Beam or Pikachu's Iron Tail. Pokémon can learn moves mid-battle. And finally, there's no such thing as levels. If there were, Pikachu would basically be incapable of losing. Ash's pre-evolutions are way past level 16 when they evolve. Pokémon evolve at non-experience-based times, such as mid-battle or before the battle begins. I don't care what filler amnesia jokes were made. Levels cannot exist with so much evidence against them. So that was 20 rules that the Pokemon anime battles follow that the games don't. Did I miss any? I'm sure I did. Leave me a comment below and I'll credit you when I make another list like this one. If you like this episode of Pokemon Why or Why Not, give me a thumbs up. Next week I'm going to try something a little different. Viewer's choice. I've got three different episode ideas in mind, so pick which one you want to see next in the comments. They are... Why doesn't Team Rocket give up? How does Gary have 10 badges? And... Why did Professor Oak give Ash a dangerous Pikachu? Tune in next week to see who won. I've been The Alchemist, see you then.